Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is one of the questions I got from the 40K Radio Forum about the display board. So, if we scroll down here... Pass out this. There we go. Um, Brother Graham asked me this one, or at least made this statement. And I'll try and get it on the screen so you guys can see it. Looking very cool so far. Let us know how you get on with the magnetic paint. I'm working on a second display board just now and I've had problems getting a decent grip with the magnetic paint. I went for metal paper in the end as the hold was incredible even through the basing I added. So Brother Grimm had a little bit of issue with his on the magnetic paint. So just to give you an idea um, of what it is, it's a special paint that you use and it's got um, tiny bits of metal in it that allow you to stick magnets to it. So you can pretty much turn anything into a magnetic surface. So what I have here is a piece of foam core. Good old-fashioned, nothing spectacular foam core. What I've done to it is I've given it about three or four coats of the magnetic paint. So you can see, and it gives it a little bit of texture. So really, it's not a super smooth surface when you use it. Um, part of that is that I've got it on there rather heavily. I'd be willing to bet if I used a, a um, thinner roller, I could probably actually get a perfectly smooth finish. But for what we're doing, it's actually better off having the rough surface. But you can see that that crute is stuck up there. And he's not stuck on there using um, tape or anything. It's just a couple of small neodymium magnets that I've stuck on the bottom and you can see there, I'll try and get it in focus, it's the, the little um, white stuff is um, it's just your modeling putty, sticky stuff, you know, for temporary holding, but the magnets are actually proud of that and I can stick them on there and he stays on there pretty well. Um, I don't know how well he's going to do for metal models, but for most of your plastic ones, I mean... You should be okay. It's really going to depend on the magnet and how many coats. Now, on my final display board, I've got quite a few coats. I think I'm up to like five or six easy, and they're really, really heavy coats. So let me spin this around so that way I can show up in my own video. Um, so I'm up to five or, five or six heavy coats, and I've still got a few more to do. Um, I'm actually probably going to end up using, by the time I'm done, there's probably going to be eight to ten coats on it. So I want to get a nice, heavy coating on it. Um, and it's not obscuring the details. In fact, if we can, let's walk through and come over here to where it's sitting. Got it underneath a fan drying now, but you can still see all the details that were there. It's all still there. The rough texture spots, as well as some of the smoother stuff. It's working out pretty good. So next video you'll see will be me putting the last touches of paint on it, and then we'll get get going with the details. Talk to you guys later. Bye.